We're going to move to the containers cost allocation. Um, this is probably going to sound familiar to some of you if you came to FinOpsX or you were on the previous March summit. This is their third appearance um, because they have been one of our longest standing working groups. They actually started August this last year, so an entire year, and I think they've, they've now wrapped up three sprints. So huge shout out to them. Um, I want to turn it over to David Sturds from MindCurve and um, Bala from Aptio, who have really been leading this work. But I just have to give a shout out to these individuals that have been along this journey for this last 12 months as well. Take it away, David. All right. Hi, folks. Thanks for introducing Ashley. Yeah, happy to be here. It's, it has been a long journey now for one year. You may wonder why. And uh, yeah, we, are, we will show you why. So container cost allocation triggers a lot of discussion and uh, people are not always clear where to start. And this is exactly what the working group that was born out of the six containers. Um, now it's called Chat Containers Kubernetes. You can join us there. was born out. So, and while we believe there's a lot of good content at the FinOps website uh, around container cost allocation and uh, Kubernetes, uh, FinOps Kubernetes, we believe that there's something missing, which are deliverables that are ready to use. And this is what the working group was focusing about. And we published in March uh, uh, a mm -hmm. FinOps label schema that you can look up. And um, yeah, today we want to show you uh, what we published on the website. And we welcome all personas of all majorities to, to comment, to contribute um, yeah, what we pushed out here because yeah, it's just one variant and yeah, we learned that there are many views on these things and you really need to make up your own label schema. So for this, um, to get the working group started, this is a small recap here and um, is we started with a use case that might be familiar with many of you. You have a shared container platform running where many teams um, deploying their applications and products on. So we wanted to make sure to cover all personas um, within the use case. And there is also a label schema that uh, has been developed for this scenario. And uh, yeah, so for my personal learning, there has been a, a label schema needs to also be uh, evolved over time. And there are many. And what we did is exactly that. We collected many label schemas across the community. And here you see a screenshot of different label schemas that has been provided by uh, ESA um, vendors and FinOps platform. Thank you for that again. And from the community from individual practitioners. And we created a, yeah, a top, let's say, top 10 list of that. And we match this to different personas. And this has been, you can all see this in very detail on the March Summit recording. And, but, and today is more about what we have we done for this and how did we open up this for contribution. And I would like to hand over to Bala. Thanks, David. So since we are running tight on time, I'll give a quick overview on the evolution of this project and the three major sprints. To start the content creation, we ran a survey last year within the practitioner community to understand the challenges when it came to the container cost allocation. And based on the feedback received, uh, we worked on the user story that uh, David just updated. So once that was finalized, we started gathering feedback from the working group on the different personas that would be the key for this use case, their objectives, the key metrics they would be interested. In. And then we sat through a lot of working group sessions to see how we could leverage the Kubernetes labels to align costs for those metrics. Our goal, as Ashley mentioned, was to provide on what should be the best approach or per se the best practice adoption when it comes to label schema. So once we had all that information gathered and aligned internally with the contributing members, we gave a preview in our March summit. So I would consider that as our first sprint. Uh, the second sprint was the FinOps conference in Austin. So after the March summit, we worked on the framework uh, to merge all these label schemas into a label dictionary. Uh, for easier consumption by the community. We then published this work to the uh, FinOps GitHub for others to refer, validate, and contribute since this is an iterative approach. The GitHub contributors were announced during the container chalk talk at the FinOps conference, and that's the second major sprint. But the third and the major evolution for us is the update being made today. The container working group is very happy to announce that all the effort they have put in the last few months to create the best practice guide for label schema is now officially published to the FinOps website for all our community members to consume. Uh, so please do take a look, review, and uh, provide feedback. Um, now we can actually, like, Ashley, do we want to share the website? Or 
Yep, I'm going to go ahead and just show it to you also. Same thing um, previously where it's listed under the project and then um, the page is officially launched. If you guys want to talk through a little bit um, how to navigate it, that'd be great. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I, I would say let's pick one of the personas. So, Bala, what, which one would you, yeah. I, I think I'll go for, there. I'll do an engineer for a difference today, yeah. All right, so in, in which maturity would you like to, to take on? Would you go I would say, I would say walk. All right. So what you can see here now is that um, the recommendations here would be that environment and customer would be a label schema that we considered a, a, for work maturity for engineers to allocate their costs. And if you don't like the word environment, but rather have it stage or end, you can might find it in the aliases. So they can already end with some examples. Uh, okay, let's add one more persona, Ashley. Which one would you take, Ashley? Let's pull finance in. All right, finance. Okay, so what you can see here now is that the label schema growed, right? So be, beside mm, the the one from the engineer, we also got some more that we consider uh, for the maturity of work for the finance people. And this is uh, what we put up on the website so that you can discover. And please just take a look. And um, yeah, we put this out for we believe for each and every context uh, in Kubernetes, for example, to label your costs across maturities and personas. Perfect, that's great. So yeah, please go there and check it out. Um, and they've kind of, kind of covered this, how we got started, um, but you will want to use this website as a resource to reference with your labeling um, and, and maybe take a look at what you, you may not have included in your Kubernetes or your container labeling as well. Um, again, I, this working group has worked so hard and they are just wrapping up. They love to talk about this, so please join them in the chat, Containers Kubernetes, if you have any questions. Um, you can also submit a user story by going up to the top of the website and doing that or reaching out to one of the um, the, the members. I would just also say, this is a great opportunity to share this on socials. Uh, they've worked really, really hard on this and um, we'd love to celebrate that win for them. JR here from the FinOps Foundation. Thank you for watching. Please go to finops.org if you want to get plugged into this amazing community. And of course, hit subscribe right here on YouTube to get all the future content. Hope to see you soon.